But first, not every child in the Emirates can go to an exclusive private school. Some aren't that lucky. Ashraf Helmi visited a charity school in Ajmand that got a helping hand this weekend. School's out for the weekend, but the classrooms are full with an army of volunteers. The Manar Al Iman Charity School in Ajman got a fresh coat of paint this weekend by members of Volunteer in Dubai. It's one of a string of local community projects that the 12,000 strong group has organized. It's a constant struggle trying to find more and more things for people to get involved with and ultimately that's, that's what we're here to do. We, we want to embrace that energy and we want to try and encourage people to do good things with their time. Now despite private funding, a lot of this school is in disrepair and by the end of the day, 80 to 100 volunteers will have painted 12 classrooms. My mum and I have been supporting this school for quite a while. We always donate like books and we've been donating clothes and things and furniture. So I've done that and we've been today and it was the first one to sign up. I think well, the first room is actually finished, so which is good. They're just doing the edges and uh, yeah, we're waiting for it to dry and then we'll do a second coat. The charity school relies solely on private donations and its students, which number about 2,500, come from vulnerable families. About 600 of them are orphans. And getting funding is not always that easy. But more help is at hand. A construction company is also set to provide the dilapidated school with a new playground and an improved sewage network. Our company has been more than 50 years in Dubai. I think it's normal that we know we try, we try to participate in the social activities in the, the U.A. All in all, about 400,000 dirhams is being spent to bring the building up to scratch. It's a far cry from the exclusive private expat schools in the Emirates and more donations are required to keep it from going into further disrepair. But with this helping hand from the local community, the staff here now hope to worry less about the building itself and focus more on the children inside it. Ashraf Helmi, Inside the National.